No good can... Greetings, Walker. You are not also going to the abode of Ign... This one saw a stranger setting up camp outside the cave nearby. Local legend... A Khajiit woman. Cathay by the look of her. She wore the attire of a sorcerer. But then I could put on a tin crown and claim that I am an... Imp Caldethir send you? Well, don't even try to stop me. Oh, well then, greetings. My name is Naramako, and I intend to walk right into this spooky cave and find the works of a brilliant Kajiti mage. Before you ask, yes, it is full of slavering, undead, and yes, I am petrified to the point of weeping. You mean to help? Well, I guess there's no harm in delegating. According to my research, a powerful wizard named Marzulajo used this place as his laboratory. If you find his notes and any memory stones he might have left behind, I would be indebted. Thank you for looking into this, Walker. I can't wait to rub this discovery in that sour-tongued Kaldathir's face. It's always be careful with this and don't meddle with that. He's just a fat old bully. According to my research, Marzula Joe had a great fondness for animals, just like me. He even discovered ways to bring them back to life. At least I think he did. Fuzzy on the details. Anyway, his notes and memory stones should hold the answers. Yes! You're not going to scold me like Kaldathir, are you? It's just a frog! A single hoppy little frog! What harm could that do? Anyway, he's the one who made me kill the poor thing. And for what? A water-breathing potion? I can't even swim! I, I mean, sort of. Well... Guild regulations clearly state that manipulating white souls, the lesser souls of beasts, is completely fine. True, the bylaws don't explicitly endorse putting little white souls into frog skeletons, but they don't prohibit it either. My high elf alchemy professor. And a heartless, saggy-faced brute. I'm a member of the Mages Guild, you see. To progress, I have to show proficiency in potion making and such. He's a meanie! Every potion we make includes some terrible reagent, like a baby newt or a sweet little toad. I don't even like to hurt fleas, let alone innocent amphibians. It's called the Abode of Ignominy. <laughs> Say that five times fast. I did a bit of research before I set out, but I didn't find much. A few cryptic references to a temple that collapsed into a sinkhole or some such. Well, when the name includes the word Ignominy, it's a safe bet that it's nothing good. I found a reference or two to Mafala, the clan mother of Dark Secrets. Probably something to do with her. Ooh, gives me the shivers.
career. No! Stop it this instant, please! I can fix this. I just need to paint a restraining wall to... T Stop! What are you doing, Zarya? No, 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 no! No! Don't do that! Don't do that! This is a little unorthodox, but I just felt horrible about what happened. Bringing you back to life is an imperfect solution, I know, but I am confident you'll get used to this uh, uh, new beginning.
never intended... What did I do wrong? This isn't you, sweet boy. This isn't you. Sugar snout, my sweet boy. I don't. It's not fair. You were so young, so young. I'm going to fix this, boy. I'm going to bring you back. I promise.
Okay. A land of fertile valleys and grand hills. But enough about Rajin's past romances, yes? That I had any doubts, mind you. So, success? Did you find Marzula Joe's notes and memory stones? A cinch, tiger? That's remarkable! If he managed that, the frog should present no challenge at all! Thank you so much, Walker. When I publish about this, I'll be sure to mention your contribution. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Kaldathir's face. I wonder how long after death you can perform these rituals. Do you think they would work on something smaller, like a mosquito? So many questions! Oh, let's not overreact. Advanced spellcraft is as much an art as it is a science. Sure, he may have encountered a few bumps along the way, but that's to be expected. I won't fall into the same traps. Trust me.
infestation, Kamira. Ever the voice of reason, Speaker. Ah, here comes someone who can...